What is up, guys? Welcome to week 38 of Roleplay D&D. My name is JP McDaniel. We're joined by the rest of the cast of Roleplay D&D. Two of them been in Sweden. One of them stayed home in... Oh, God, where do you live, Ryan? I know where you live. Raleigh. <clears throat> right? That's right. Yeah, That's there we right. go. Mm -hmm. And the other one stayed in San Fran. Is that correct, Neil? Did we you... call it the city, but yeah. Okay, stayed in the city. That's stayed a little... <laughs> It's a, it's a. I don't even know what to call that. God. It's an Eddie Izzard joke. <laughs> mm. they, they've always. Never mind. You have to be there. Mm. Okay. Sounds hilarious. Sounds great. It yeah. Is. To be honest. It really is. You should. I feel like it. if we would have got it, it would have been a, a knee slapper. Mm. Yep. <laughs> knee slapping would have occurred. I think. I slapped my knee. I did. You did. You did actually that. did. I did. I slapped. Uh, it. no. Is that like an LOL where you know, like you typed it, but it didn't actually happen? It is. Okay. I, I thought it so. Is. I felt that. I felt that was the case. What an odd start to week 38. <laughs> but it's okay. It'll only get odder. Uh, guys, how's, how was Sweden, Vincent and, and Jen? Or Jeff as and Jen? cold as Canada. <laughs> Not, is that an Eddie Izzard joke as well? Or? <laughs> it, he did. He did. Was that just bad? I think that was actually an uh, Eddie Izzard joke as well. Who's no, it's, it's actually just true. It's <laughs> exactly the same as Canada. It's freakishly similar in weather and people, except they're blonder. And a lot prettier, typically. They are friendly, though. Eh, people in Montreal are pretty good looking. Um, you're like, no, doing? Jen, you're that's just a, a That's five. an Eddie Izzard joke, actually. Yeah, you're just a five, Eddie. Jen. We're just <laughs> channeling <laughs> Mr. Mr. Izzard tonight. So how was Sweden, <laughs> man? What the fuck? <laughs> Was it good? Sweden was awesome. Uh, great way to end the year. Dream Hack always puts on an amazing show. Really fun for me. And I guess actually uh, Jen's been really busy too. She can relate to this. But I had one weekend off in all of November. I know I've, I've been bitching about that in all my shows and stuff. But uh, I never thought you could be too busy in esports. But there is such a thing. So I'm, I'm ready to kick back and relax and be around one place for a while and, and have fun that way. Indeed. It's, it's pretty nice. Let me Dream Hack was awesome. I think it's the best event for me. So yeah, far. That's pretty awesome. What, what, comparing it to MLGs, you've been to all MLGs first dream hack. What's the biggest difference? Mm, just the land atmosphere, I think, is very different. People are like gaming and stuff. They're in a, I guess, different mindset. But I also got to see like game developers, and I thought that was really cool as well. I like did interviews. I tried new games. People were super excited also about roleplay. I got people coming up. I signed some Abigail autographs. Got to do it while she's well. still alive, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what happens when you guys die? Do you start signing as your new character, or how is that going to work? I retire. You I retire? <laughs> Quite on top. Gotcha, gotcha. Ryan, what have you been up to, man, besides being I, in Raleigh? I, um, I ended my DJ career. Oh, yeah? I Ryan asked more is no more? DJ Nazdormu is, uh, is finished. <laughs> what? Yeah, I got, I got a new headset. Basically. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are you rocking now? Uh, I, I bought something on the Cyber Monday, the, the Bear Dynamic MMX. You just had to go for the bears. I did, and I'm happy with it. Okay. Okay. What? Anything else? You still streaming Hearthstone? Hearthstone? Uh, well, I've been uh, been playing some League recently, actually. I'm on that, uh, uh, that You're on that climb. League train? I've actually yeah. been playing League lately. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. What? Well, it's kind of weird. We can, we can broken. play some league together if you want to. I'd, I'd, probably not. You'd stream in and I'd, <laughs> I'd lose every viewer because I just I, my rage is too strong. That's fair enough, man. Well, we can play. Off, I play off stream too. So okay. Well, let me know when you play off stream. We'll play. All right, for sure. Sounds good. Neil, you've been uh, you've been D and Ding it up with your solo campaign. I know that. Yeah, the solo campaign's been fun. I'm playing a chaotic, evil cleric who wants to bring about the destruction of the world and slaughter the innocents, and he's just a really, really evil person. <laughs> yeah. I saw last night that you were afraid to throw an arm into a well or something. Granted, this might be spoilers, so you can tell me to shut up, but... No, that's fine. I don't mind. That's um, not very evil, man. An evil person would just throw the arm in the well. No, no, no. I wasn't throwing... There were already a couple bodies in the well. I was worried about hitting the guard who was sitting on the well and having drawn his attention. Oh. No, no, no. I, I crucified a woman to a tree and then burned the tree in the middle of a city. That's pretty evil. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, she was paralyzed while she was doing it. Nice. I had already murdered her husband. Nice. Pushed That's him down cool. a flight of stairs while he what was strapped level to a chair. Are you? One. A level one <laughs> character with all these abilities? Well, I mean, I, I just when you do single player, it you it allows for so much more creativity because you don't have to worry about anyone else. So you can sneak on your own. You can do all these things on your own. Uh, you don't have the other people. So it opens up a lot of options. Your dungeon master gave you push down the stairs at level one. What? Um, I guess technically a guard was dragging him down the stairs and lost his footing, and they both tumbled down, and the the husband broke his neck. So I did technically I didn't do it, but I was telling the guard what to do. Okay. I like to take blame <laughs> nice. for that. Okay. Uh, VODs sounds are... Sounds fucked are, up, man. Yeah, it sounds pretty... Sounds like a weird guy that like, kills <laughs> ants with a magnifying glass and stuff. Yeah, that's the sort of character he is. Yeah. He's, a bad yeah, person. he's the weird guy, right? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Those VODs are available on your YouTube, Twitch? Where, where do you get them? The, the VOD of the first episode is on YouTube. The second one has Twitch errors all over it, and the video is not loading, so I'm having <clears> Twitch fix it, and then it'll be up on YouTube. And Twitch. Awesome. Cool. Well, uh, I suppose we should get to it, because there might be a lot of sitting around outside of Dragon's Den tonight. Um, I guess to recap everyone, that's where the party's at. Abigail's dropped her bow. Uh, a red dragon, from what we can tell, has picked it up. Uh, it's inside of a cave. We don't know what the fuck to do, and I, I think, is did I miss anything? Are there any smaller details? Uh, there are a couple of two-headed uh, trolls that you guys killed. Oh, yeah, we killed a bunch and of <clears throat> trolls. And we burned them. Fire. Yeah, so Burned they would them. stop regenerating. Yeah. yeah. With fire. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, are we ready? I think so. Yeah. Go, go, go. <clears throat> oh, I got to log into fucking... Jeff, you're not Anyways, ready. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly ready. So... You need to log in, by the way. Neil, Neil. as an update, like, uh, like we just said, we left off with we tried to get Abigail to scout out a bunch. It's too dark in there. As most we can tell from going around the hill, there's no other entrance, so it's a little bit weird that there's this gigantic... By the way, I was waiting for a bus the other day, and I looked at the building across from me, and I was like, how big is 150 feet? And if you guys sit there and think about it for a second, it's like a it's like a 20-story a building. It's like a absolutely massive. And then you consider that its tail is another 150 feet. And then I thought of the absurdity of hitting that, that with a sword. That's just a football field, right? At that point. No, that's football a, field is 300 oh, yeah. feet. Yeah, if you combine them. Yeah, it's football field. Yeah. It's a gigantic thing. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. monstr monstrously gigantic. So, yeah, head uh, and tail together is a little bit longer than a football field. Okay. Yeah, to put it into perspective. So anyways. That's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, for everyone, so that's what we did. We looked around for that. We, we checked our options. And I'm going to say that like a little bit of time passed. We're just kind of waiting outside. We did that too. We like looked at the hole. And then I just kind of addressed the group. Uh, we're just kind of like, looking at it like arms crossed like this. Like, what the fuck to do? And, I, and I, I'm just going to guys, let's... uh. Let's just fu let's just fucking not do this right now. Let's let's leave the bow in there. Let's go and read about red dragons. Find out what we're dealing with and uh, see if we can't do something like like uh, lure the V army into there by telling them that I don't know. You know you know do you, we have to do more. Is is my point, Vincent? From what I understand, or you know how the party's been acting, you are kind. You're somewhat of a dragon expert. I, there's, listen, do we need Morris, to know there's more? two things that I do better than anyone else on the planet. That's sell armor and no dragons. So, <laughs> mm, and I would argue, sell and get naked. Well. It goes with it, Abigail, yeah. but thank you for reminding me. Um, yeah, so from what I can remember from reading, and from what I've heard when we asked around about dragons, because we've been doing this for a while, the red dragon is the, is the, as bad as it gets. It's, it's as thoroughly evil as it can be. It's, it's super intelligent. It's super powerful, both in, in body and in magic. Um, the fact that we're going into this knowing that there's something weird about it in this cave, but we don't understand what it is, means that immediately I say, stop, we can't go any further, right? How the fuck is there a gigantic dragon in a cave with a tiny tunnel that we barely fit through? How does that happen? Did it get in there and that eat gold and get fat? I don't know. But what we do know also is that there was some trolls involved. So he had to have like help from someone who was evil to accomplish something or to communicate something, right? Yeah. So there's something there. We can't talk to the trolls. So I don't know what we can do with this. I'm very terrified about talking to a dragon. 
but we know he's evil and he wants something from like messengers at least, right? Well, there's, there's a couple things too to learn about this. Like, I feel like if we had an exit strategy, like, let's say for example, Azrael could teleport us out of here, I would happily go in that tunnel and speak to the dragon um, because there's a really good chance that if it did somehow, t you know, target me with the breath weapon, I'd be okay. Uh, but to f even find something out, but let let's say there is some some freaking way that it leaves that cave that we don't know of. If we don't have a way to exit, then it just eats us and we're dead. You know. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, everything's telling me the time's not now to deal with this. The time is at some later date when we're better prepared. Well, I think there's two possibilities. Either we come back later, like you say, with other people and some kind of preparation or plan, or I don't want to talk to it, but we could pretend to be mean and be at its service or wait for other trolls to come back and try to get more knowledge out of this that way. Trolls don't speak basic, and uh, yeah. they're actually not the easiest to deal with, as you can see by the gaping hole in my army and yeah. armor excuse me, in the front of me, which we need to get repaired as well. Um, not to shoot down your ideas, uh, but, you know, trying to trick a extremely ancient and ex it's let's just be honest it's smarter than all of us by it by yeah. almost two it's it's twice as smart as we are so you're proposing that we outsmart something that's way smarter than we are i just did the math in my head it's not looking good well let's think about what the dragon could want what do you think the dragon could want like do you think it's involved with the army there wasn't v's on the trolls right neil Nope. No, there wasn't V's on the trolls. <laughs> if I recall correctly, they were naked. So, what if it doesn't like the Vorasi army? What if we're mutual, <coughs> like, we're enemies, but we're, we have a common enemy, so we're friends? Maybe. That dragon's inherently evil, though, and so is the army. I True, but they're not Vorasi, so they might be enemies as well. Horus, That's why one of the things I, t I touched on is leading some people in there to see what happens, and of course they'd have to be evil, <clears throat> like the Verassi army, but that takes a lot of planning and circumstantial stuff that we'll have to work out as time goes on. I'm not going to sit here and brainstorm ideas. I, we need to be on the action. I was going to ask you, Azrael, um, you know, when I first joined the party, I, I heard you were a, a great cleric and... Um, I suppose you're on the way to getting your power back. How is that coming? Uh, getting power back in, in a, a different way. And I, I kind of look at Crawfort when I say that. Uh, the, the, the previous... And I, I kind of think for a second. My previous god was a complete pain in the ass and was so much of a pussy that he could never actually really help us out when I needed it. So About half the time. About mm. really never. So uh, fuck Quantarius, and uh, I now serve Crawford. However, I still don't have powers yet. So I'm still so, working on that. Did we not level, by the way, Neil? Oh, yeah, we did level. Me and oh, Jensen yeah, leveled. Oh, yeah, was a level. Holy shit! It's kind of a big deal, isn't it? Yeah. For you. Now we can kill a red dragon. <laughs> Hey guys, that whole conversation we had, fuck it, I'm just going to 1v1 this thing, I'll be right back. <laughs> we need to roll for HP, right? Yeah, I'm opening up the character sheets to see who... I'm, it was me and Vincent, I remember you. Plus yeah, 500 I think it was you. HP. I'm pretty I'm, sure yeah. Horace leveled too. And Abigail. Well, let's roll for HP, Jeff. Don't try to steal our thunder, you children. <laughs> what do I roll, Neil? You roll 1d10... 1d10. God damn it! 39. Still under 40. <laughs> 2 uh, out of 10. I roll 1d8, right? Yeah. Do I get bonuses as a 17 constitution dwarf? You get plus 2 to HP. Okay, Just so, once. Uh, if you were a fighter, you'd get plus 3, but since you're a cleric, you get plus 2. So 1d8 plus 2? Yes, oh, sir. That's really nice. 6. 50 HP. Yeah, that's fine. 6, is, six out of 8 is great. I'm entering Brighter uh, territory. What other changes do I get, though, Neil? It's like plus one to uh, to hit and plus to wound now, or whatever? Hit, uh, plus one to hit. Your saving throws, you are now level eight. Your saving throws did not go up. They went up to the last level. Um, so I'm plus 14 now with my sword. 
And do I do plus one more damage as well? No, no damage does not go up with level. Okay, so there's that. And then no special things are unlocked at eight? No. At nine, you, if you build a fortress or a stronghold, you start to acquire followers who will just flock to you. And I will build that, by the way, Neil, just so you can prepare for that. <laughs> Five months from now. Do I get anything? Five months. <laughs> uh, you get more spells, dude. Yeah, but anything? Oh, but you don't have spells. That's so bad. <laughs> um, your saving throws, you know, they go up every five levels. So for you, it's just... Uh, more HP. More HP, and at level eight, it's two, three, four, six, seven. Uh, no bonus to hit. You get a bonus to hit next level. But it would be spells, uh, HP, and saving throws. Bonus to hit. So uh, nothing else for you. For you, it's just HP. Gotcha. Okay. Spells, <laughs> which you don't get. All right, I'm at fifty then. Uh, so, anyways, <laughs> jumping back in game. I say that right. to you, horse. Um, so if you were to, uh, you know, get some powers back through serving Crawlfort, would you be able to uh, summon a portal, as Vincent just mentioned? Um, I I don't know. I don't know. Part of that plan was lost uh, when dumbfuck McGee over there, and I point towards Abigail, dropped her bow. Uh, mm -hmm. We were in the process Excuse of Excuse me, of kind Mr. Of no Spells? Well, but I do want to say that bows can bow. be tricky to handle sometimes. So oh, I know. I I've seen many bows. I don't I understand why... I wouldn't stupid for just that. I don't understand why you idiots don't like tie this stuff to your body. You've seen bows well, drop a billion times slippery. before. very slippery. Sometimes we have to grease our bows for... A improved accuracy and, and uh, things and or you know, other things I don't know but anyway sometimes sometimes <laughs> we just don't expect to be on a fucking griffin and have them charge at the dragon sometimes you expect to drop people on the ground don't blame the and, griffin okay yeah, don't blame the griffin for your failure well, to hold I on to something handling the bow on the griffin what can I say it I say easy. I and say we have fight Jared. everywhere <laughs> you know who made the griffins charge you did. Yeah, and we killed a dragon. It was the right thing. Crawl forward, no, uh, put us in the I right position, the and we uh, were victorious that day. That's that's why I serve, serve friends. Crawl forward. Friends, let's really. And if I victorious, you mean we split up a family of bows and a Abigail? Swords. Please, you dropped it. Uh, Abby, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> please. The, the end of the sentence is shut the fuck up. But I just wanted to say please. Um, we need to come up with a plan. It sounds like we... Can we pass the vote that we were not going to deal with the Red Dragon right now? Is there anyone that's seriously opposed to that? No. I just let out a big sigh. I, uh, Horace, you're okay with moving on for now? I, I am. I, I wish we had sooner. I didn't realize that um, you had thought it was a bad idea. But I, I'm okay with moving on, yes. Okay, so here's now, the next... I do want to come back. Well, thank you. That's a perfect segue, friend. Uh, we're not going to... We have nothing else to do. Our mission is to unite these weapons and then clear the lands of these evil creatures. So that remains our option, or our mission, excuse me. So what I say then, what I ask you, you guys, is we need to leave here and learn of this red dragon, um, gather resources, which is something that we'll have to develop organically because, you know, we'll start the conversation here, but we're not going to just sit here and talk for months um and then we need to move on find a place to gather said resources and then come back uh i i would just tell you that well we need to learn our foe so that's got to be our first place uh, uh to do and that doesn't have to be you know there's not some famous one singular dragon book um but there's more than we, than what we know at, at any one of these big keeps or something like that so we need to do that Vincent, what if we abigail shut up for a sec vincent that all sounds Great, uh, but are we to just leave this red dragon alone in this cave and hope that when we come back, he's still there? I understand he has his treasure oh, and whatnot inside, but yes, from what I know, of cave in the cave, the bow there, it's it's a sealed. It, it's not going anywhere. Absolutely not. Okay. What if we wait for more trolls to come and follow them instead of killing them? Follow them into the cave? No. See where they go after talking to the dragon. Did you see um, any more trolls inside? No. Maybe more will come. He's going to need some form of communication. What if he has to get out because the trolls didn't come back? I'll eventually know that... I'll tell you what. What Abby proposed is not a terrible idea. We can wait and see if there is any kind of motion of, of that 
of that ilk. Um, I don't propose that we wait weeks on weeks, but we can give it a couple days um, and observe them and, and follow them as Abby proclaims, or asks rather, if that sounds good to you guys. Do we all need to be here to do that? Can can some leave to go mm. research we're, and some we're in stay? Treacherous, we're in treacherous territory right now. We should not split up. You have to remember we're on the other side of the mountain now, friends, so every town is Barassi town. Actually, kind of in the middle of the two mountains, just as a As I said, we're in the middle of the two mountains, which is not totally on the other side, but we're still in bad territory. Sure. So we just try to be hidden and see where they go after talking to the dragon, ideally, if they come. Yeah, we'll give it a couple days, is what I'm saying. Okay. But if no trolls show up, then we need to move to this next plan, which we'll do anyways, even if trolls do show up. Okay. Uh, what town should we go to next, guys? That's what I'm going to ask you. If there's no trolls... I don't know well, if there's even trolls if there are. that way. Well, we'd follow them and probably go towards the town that way, right? Right, but then after that, Abigail, this is what I'm asking. Is what what is the B plan, the next city? I'm not sure. Do we want to bring Varassi into the Varassi army into this? Like we I could do... try to infiltrate <laughs> Varassi by painting V's on ourselves and pretending to be in the army. Um, as, as I had said, I, I don't think it's a terrible idea to consider those options, but the first one should be that we go to a town to learn of red dragons, and then one of our options that could organically spring up from that is that we try to con Verasi into checking out this cave, and that would be one of the ways we would do that, yes. Okay. I don't think we should do that, then learn of red dragons, so that's why I okay. said that. Okay, okay, agreed. No, I sent you a message on Skype. Okay. So, and I do none of you guys waiting. have a preference for a city we should head to? Uh, I I don't I don't know any cities. I mean, I I think the closest city that we were trying to go to was. <clears throat> Azra kind of looks down and tries to think back, and he says, uh, "Yeah, how Ther far do we make it, Neil? Like, I think we were going to Therador, but I have no idea where we're at." That was originally the plan, but we stopped short of that, so Neil has to tell us where we are. You guys are all in the mountains, like, roughly halfway through the mountains between uh, Prydell and Riverdale. Okay. So then what I would just say is let's head to Riverdale after the mountains. Between. Okay. Sound good, Horace? River, River Vale? Dale? Riverdale. Riverdale. Uh, that might be a... No, it's a Dale. Or Bale. Or Bale, I'm, or Dale, or Vale. I'm or trying Riverdale. to look it up. I don't see Riverdale. That's I why see I'm asking. It. It's, it's to the right of Black Crest. Yeah, it's above Claxia. Yep. Okay. Northeast Anyways. of Wood. Uh, yes, I am. I am okay. With that. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Well, are we are we waiting for the trolls? Or are we just going yes. right now? No, we're we're gonna waiting. do the troll thing. So, here's what so, we're gonna do in the meantime, Abigail. Uh, us three will make camp off the road, and we will hang out and uh, watch for these trolls. I'm going to ask that you spend a lot of time in that cave observing the dragon, looking for whatever you can get. Okay? Okay. I'm going to go off and talk with Crawl for it for the most part while we do this camp thing. Just as and... long as you're out of sight, friend, because we're looking to see some trolls. Oh, yeah. Here. I'll be with you guys, but just a little bit further away. Okay. Uh, Horace, you good with that? You and I will stake out here off the road watching for trolls. Abigail, you're in there. Observing the dragon, and uh, uh, Azrael over there is going to film a, a music video standing on top of a wrecking yeah. ball. Yep. Yeah, going to town on a hammer. Okay. <clears throat> and Fully if we see trolls... Or... No, of course not. And if we see trolls, I would see them because I'd be inside the cave, so I can just follow right. them back afterwards, and then we group up by following them until where they go and try to find out there. Exactly right. And Azrael okay. just uh, stay within, you know, like... You need to be aware of us because if the trolls show up, we're gonna follow them. So yeah, I'll be right over here, and I'm I'm like no killing, yards away from no you. no trolling. Okay. Right, Azrael. <laughs> right, uh, no crazy shit, uh, Azrael. Let's break, Abigail. Okay. Do your thing. How many days are we waiting, by the way? Four or five. We'll do it. We'll do two or three. Okay, two, two or three. Couple days. So Neil, we wait okay. two or three days. Tell me when we uh, get about halfway it, through. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter because after one day, uh, actually after eight hours, it's nighttime. Okay. 
at this point, you guys are made camp in this little sheltered, uh, kind of craterish shaped area inside this mountain range. You guys are sleeping and chilling. Whoever's on watch, uh, Abigail is on watch. Apparently, nope, she's inside. Nope, I lied. Abigail's not on watch. She's inside. Um, Ryan, uh, Horace, yep. you're on watch. Which and is not Breaker. No, okay. not Breaker. This is Horace. Not Breaker. No, 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 not Breaker. You see uh, a torch followed by a second torch coming over the crest to the south. Fuck a torch. How far for you, Abigail. away That's are terrible. the rest of my companions? Not Abigail in the cave, obviously, but Vincent and Azrael. Within 15 feet of you. Okay, I will quietly wake them. Okay. Um, one thing, Abigail, you said you're in the cave. Where? How far down in the cave are you? I She's like tried. in the chamber, I would imagine, with the dragon, with, you know, like watching it. That was the plan. I would be like curled <clears throat> up in a little ball out of the entrance to the side so that if someone came out, they wouldn't bump into me and trying to be as much as possible covered so that when there's light because he's snoring or some shit, he doesn't see me. Okay. So I want and to be in the shadows, in a corner, in a tiny ball, staring blankly at like the direction of what I want to fire to first. Got it. And um, when you guys made camp, did you make camp right outside the entrance or did you back up? Or no, where off are the you? road. We are ways. There is no ways. road. Yeah, we are just a ways away from the entrance. Away the from the side. cave entrance, then, Neil. The, the intention okay. is that we're yeah, yeah. waiting for giant monsters, not looking to... Okay, um, Abigail, I need you to actually make a save versus petrification um, at minus four. Why? Dragon fear. You're, my you're my now, sword stops dragon fear. Only within a 50-foot radius. You are now fifty feet, more than 50 feet away from oh, Abigail. Oh, jeez. So... It just gives her a penalty of two to attacks. It's not like it's going Damn to it's... screw anything. And I'll have my character sheet. Good job, Jim. Roll a d20. Uh, d20 minus 4. You want to make 11. It 12, or 12 or higher. I got an 11, but what about my changes? Don't I have, like, you didn't like stuff up. on my character sheet? I don't think no, anything. No, but bonus it to just did d20, so I don't have anything? No. Mm. You now get a penalty of 2 to your attacks, and you are scared. Okay. All right, that's all. Okay. Okay, uh, let's continue. Um, uh, Horace, you see the one torch come over the crest, and then a few seconds later, a second torch come over the crest, and you shake your party awake. Correct. What? All right, what? so we just kind of creep forward, then kneel, and we're watching the road. Okay. Uh, again, no road whatsoever. Uh, but the path or whatever. Creatures, well, I mean, there's not even a path. Like, this is complete wilderness there's no trails or paths or roads or anyway you see these torches being held probably about uh nine maybe ten feet off the ground um walking down the side of the mountain you can't it's a little bit too far away to see what creature it is and the light is bad and whatnot so at first you don't understand what what they are but as they get a little bit closer and a little bit closer and a little bit closer coming down the side of the mountain uh you notice that it is a pack of ogres you see four ogres. Two of them have torches. They're walking generally in the direction of the den. Do they have V's on their chest? Or can we not tell? You can't tell. It's too dark. <clears throat> Even me? I could yeah, tell. they're too far away. I want to turn around and put the campfire out behind us if it's still up and lit. Just no, like... it's, it's burned out by now. Okay. Uh, any other thing that they would notice from afar with infravision or anything like that, I want to make sure that they can't. And then uh, just like walk or crouch back up to the rest of the group and watch. Okay. Until yep, they reach watching. wherever they're going. Yeah, we're watching. Okay. Um, they are lo approaching the the entrance to the dragon cave now. Uh. But they haven't gone in yet. They're still like 100 feet out from it. But that's, where, that's definitely where they're walking. I'm looking to see if they are... Uh, possibly carrying anything they've got the torches they have something strapped around their waist um probably just in typical bags or whatever ogres carry around their waist they don't seem to have anything unusual some of uh two of them have clubs that they're carrying the other two the ones wearing uh holding the torches don't seem to have a weapon mm. except for the torches uh i'll turn to the rest of the or the 
Horace and, and Vincent and Ness. Should we try to warn Abby somehow? Uh, I think if we went in there, we would only start a fight. She's probably well hidden enough. We've got to count on Abigail to uh, use, utilize that new cloak to make herself invisible. And hopefully those torches they're carrying will actually illuminate the room enough for her infravision to see more. All right. Okay. We're just so you guys and wait. Yep. And uh, Abigail, you... Are so you, see the, you see the ogres eventually uh, squeeze into that tiny little hole. They have a hard time with it. You guys had a little bit, not too much trouble with it, but the ogres are having... Do I see light? We're not there yet. Hold on. Yeah. The ogres are having trouble with it. They eventually manage to squeeze through the hole, torches and all, um, and disappear into the darkness. Abigail, you eventually see some light uh, and hear some mut uh, mutterings. Uh, up the passageway that would lead back to the eg exit. So they came down, talked to the dragon, and came up, or are they just coming no, no, down? No, they're coming down right now. Okay. So I would try to place myself in the most, like, stealthy position for someone coming out of the tunnel, because now I'm aware that someone's coming in. Right. Because so I don't know how you're making the cave up, but usually I would try to be like up to the wall like this so if they come out and you don't look like that then I'm good <laughs> right uh, the cave kind of spirals down this way and opens into this big room which you can't see all of but there's like some pillars here and this kind of does that and there's like oops there. So there, you know, there's terrain to the cave. It's not a perfectly smooth cave. Um, so you were before hiding back here by this pillar. Uh, okay. But you've since moved over here to this area, which blocks your view of the dragon completely, but will make you uh, more hidden to whatever's coming down the hole. Okay. Okay. So but you're chilling. Okay, yeah, yeah. So if they came down like this way, they wouldn't directly see me as they come down, right? Technically. No, this is what five times. Because I'm in the way. So unless they had a really bright light source, they wouldn't see you. And you can even hide yourself like all the way back in this corner. Which yeah, would... yeah. So that's what I would do until I hear people walk by, pretty much. Right. Okay. Okay. So you're sitting in there, and you hear these creatures coming in. They sound pretty large, even. You know, because you can tell they're muttering, but their voice still carries pretty far. And the light shines, and then you hear a um, sharp intake of breath from the dragon, and then it growls. Where have you been? 